so I did a deal with uh, a girl off of uh, our local fish society, aquarium society club. Uh, she needed to have some uh, web design work done on her website and I wanted some plants so we did a, a swap on it where I cleaned up her site and she brought me a bunch of plants. Okay, I didn't realize what all she was gonna bring and I guess she liked the work I did because that's just part of the wisteria water wisteria she brought me that's floating right there there's another clump of it back down there and there's some in the tank over there in the corner of that tank uh, fish are loving it <laughs> I've been sitting here watching them for the last uh, 20 minutes or so and they're just swimming all up through it I guess when uh, you know there's no way to scratch your own back swimming through that feels pretty good but uh, she also brought all this chain sword which goes back in through there and around this java moss that java moss that java moss that that and I have a whole clump of it that I got in my outdoor grow out tank so all these Anubias there's a Nano there in the front and a Barteri that's going up and I think that's another little Nano up there that I stuck up there uh, in the uh, guppy tank downstairs there's a uh, some Wasser Tang and some other crypts, some dwarf high grow and some more wisteria. Uh, oh yeah, those crypts back there. She uh, she set me up. She set me up good. I was uh, really amazed when I opened the bag up and started pulling out the little baggies with the plants in them. So I'm. Uh, I'm very happy with the with the trade, and uh, I hope she's happy with her website the way I redesigned it for. Her. I guess we'll find out over the next couple of days. But anyways, um, I thought I'd touch base with you guys on uh, some other stuff that is going on. Um, I don't know if you can notice, but the uh, background is different. I've got a black background for this now. The old one was a uh, kind of a dark blue to a light blue at the top. I'd had it for many, many years and decided it was time for some, something new on this tank. So I got the background. Used one of those uh, Petco rewards coupons that they send you in the mail. So I basically got it for free. I think it cost me about a dollar. And this is on a 55 gallon, so that's four feet by, I think it's 22 inches or something like that, height wise. Um, I'm going to be, in the next couple of weeks when I can find the time and the funds to, to do all this, I'm going to make a canopy for this tank. Um, be a kind of a basic canopy. I'm going to stain it the same color as the stand, which is just a dark brown wood wood tone with some uh, polyurethane coating to keep it a little waterproof. But uh, it's going to be one that just uh, the front hatch will lift up. It'll have, it'll go up and around to a 90 and there'll be a little part of the top or whatever and that'll be hinged and you'll just be able to lift the top up. The sides on either side of the tank here and uh, over here will just go back on the sides and they will uh, they'll stay where they're at but the front will lift up um, this light which is a, an Odyssey T5 um, I'm gonna put a little ledge in a um, little bit above where the tank is and this will sit on the ledge 
and right now I just have a T8, an old T8 light, a dual T8 light that's sitting back there. Um, eventually that's going to be replaced by another Odyssey T5. I'm happy with this light. Um, but they'll sit on the ledge and that way I'll be able to pick them up and move them. They'll just be sitting on a ledge. So if I need to get into the tank and do maintenance or whatever. So that'll be coming in the future. And then I got some other surprises too. But I'm not going to talk about them yet. Those are a little bit further down the line. Sometime before Christmas, I'll just say that. Um, other than that, uh, oh yeah, I wanted to touch base on uh, what I'm running on this tank. Um, this here, fellas, if you haven't seen one before, is a Magnum 350, made by Marineland. I bought this in 1992. So this is a 20 something year old, well, a little over 20 years year old uh, canister filter. And it is still working like a charm. Right now, I am just using the uh, media uh, container. And it's just got some uh, bio media in it. And on top of that biomedia, I've got a little baggie of uh, crushed shells. We have uh, really, really soft water around here, so I was trying to bring the carbonate hardness up a little bit. So um, I got a sister that lives down in Tampa, right near the beach, and every time she goes to the beach, she scoops up a cup full of crushed shells that are on the beach and sends them up in the mail and. I crush them up fine and then put them in one of those biomedia bags and and just stick it on top inside that container so the water has to flow through it. And it helps a little bit, I guess. I've definitely seen a little bit of a raise in the carbonate hardness, considering it usually is pretty much zero out of the tap here. And I've seen it at least register now, so it's helping a little. Um, other than that, it's just a basic... Uh, Got the filter pad on the outside. It just uh, does the particulate filtering and then goes through the biomedia and the, and the crushed shells and then returns to the tank. Um, we got a new Whisper air pump there, which I use over here. Splits off and goes to the uh, little gang valve there and uh, feeds a little sponge filter here in my hospital slash quarantine tank little five gallon tank and another line comes up here over to the corner and uh, gives just I uh, just have it barely cracked it's just little fine bubbles that are coming up through an air stone just to get a little more uh, water movement in here I always like the sight of bubbles a little bit of bubbles um, uh, I think you could see on this camera but if you look real closely all the little bubbles coming up are not from that air stone. That is actually purling, guys. Yes, the the plants are purling. You can see bubbles going up there. Um, I'm still running just a basic DIY CO2 three liter bottle, three cups of sugar, a teaspoon and a half of uh, yeast and a teaspoon and a half of uh, baking powder. Bottle down there. Comes up. Goes to a little bubble counter right there. And then goes down into the ladder. Very, very basic. Very simple. And I added this a couple weeks ago for a little more, uh, a little more flow in the tank. It's just a uh, Marine Land Maxi Jet. Uh, it's uh, I can't remember the model number. It's the 150 gallons per hour, and you can also use the uh, the fan on it. You can convert it into the fan, and uh, that's uh, I think uh, 300 gallons per hour or 500 gallons per hour or something like that. I had it set up with the fan for a while, and some of the earlier videos you'll see that, but. Uh, I just switched it over to the regular power head mode because it was blowing stuff around a little too much. 
So, and the fish seemed to enjoy the, the flow a little bit better than the, the 500 gallons per hour they were getting swept up into a corner of the tank. Uh, plants are doing pretty good, still battling the algae. I guess we all have to go through that though. Uh, you can see right in there, it's, it's on a lot of the leaves here, this Crip Parva. Um, I had a bunch of it on this uh, this Anubis over here and uh, I treated it with a little bit of peroxide about uh, I guess about 10 milliliters of peroxide or whatever with a little uh, syringe type thingy sprayed it on the leaves yesterday and it's almost all gone there's still a little bit on that leaf right there um, so yes peroxide does work in the tank just use it very sparingly and it will kill off a lot of that hair algae. Uh, there's still some on the the uh, Lud Ludwigia Crippens back, Rippens back there. Uh, it's uh, it's still got a little bit on it, but uh, uh, with the dosing regimen I've been running lately, and uh, I think adding a lot more plants also helped too. I think I took some of the nutrients down because. I mean, with all that uh, chain sword and that wisteria and those and those and everything like that, I think I took uh, a lot of the nutrients, soaked them up out of the water pretty quick. I've heard that the water wisteria is a good, uh, good nutrient magnet. So everything's looking a little better today. Hopefully that'll hold out. But. Uh, that, uh, I guess, is pretty much the tour. So, uh, yeah, this video is getting kind of long. So, uh, like, comment, please subscribe. I could use some subscribers. Once again, I'd like to know that somebody other than me and my family and a few friends are watching these videos. And uh, have a great day.